Hey everybody, it's Pam at the Paper Outpost and guess what? This is part two because I hit the wrong button. That's right, but it kind of worked out because I had an opportunity to dry the non-pareil papers and now we get to see the big reveals. So this is what I initially planned to do. I took them into the kitchen, I laid them down on parchment paper, I pulled out my uh, hot air dryer and started to hot air dry, which was taking too long, so I decided to turn my oven on. Um, I turned it on to 350 degrees, it never re reached that. Uh, but after about three minutes, as it was slowly climbing up, the first one was done, and I'll show you that one first. And this is the avocado dyed paper, originally where we added multi non pareils along with some coffee dyed sprinkles. And when I attempted to blow dry it first, the sprinkles ran away. So I decided that's when it might be better to bake this thing dry or just let it air dry. But you know me, impatient Sally. Um, okay, so here it is, here it is, ready? Do, 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 do. Okay, so the brown that you're seeing is actually the coffee dye sprinkles, not baking. I, I just dried it in the oven until it was dry. I didn't like bake it, bake it. You know what I mean? Because sometimes I bake it, bake it. Um, but this is only baked. <laughs> so, um, okay, let's take a zoom close up. All right, so we have little explosions, almost working like watercolor. And we have um all sorts of different colors randomly blending together very pretty very pretty right i like that a lot and look at that nice cauliflower over there this is called a cauliflower in the watercolor world but i think it looks really cool and um so i think that turned out really good now the question is can i just roll these off into the garbage i'm going to now attempt that okay i have my garbage here beside the desk all right here i go i'm, I'm going to the garbage and you'll hear me rolling off they're stuck. <laughs> Let me use my fingernails and see if I can scrape them off a little bit. Okay. Oh, oh, this is kind of cool. Oh, where do you guys see this? This is kind of cool. Okay. I, I thought, oh, that's a problem. But, you know, maybe that's because I baked it too. It, they might, I, I'll bet it's the sugar though that's making it stick. But, but hang on, just hang on to your horsey pants. Hang on one second. Let me show you what I have so far. I think it's kind of cool. All right, let me show you close up so you can see. We're getting like little, you know how when you use uh, salt on a page and it gives little marks like that when you're watercoloring? I think we're getting a very similar technique. Um, so hang on, I'll put you on pause for a second while I fingernail scrape the rest of these off. Hold on. I'm back. Oh, that's really pretty, isn't it? I really, I think I got almost all of them off. Okay, if I wore my glasses, they would be all off. But that's a really pretty page. I think that's just gorgeous. Um, you know, I noticed with this little area where I got the cauliflower, there, that's a water drop. This is a drop of water that apparently caused that spread of the food color. So I'm kind of curious if I, let me just, let me just goof and play a little bit here and see what happens if I do some water droppage on this. All right, just for fun. I just want to see if the color runs around a little bit. Okay, I'm just putting random drops, finger drops from my water bottle. Let's see what happens. Why not, right? It's, it's, it's just a piece of paper. We can have fun with it. Let's see what it does. All right. I, I think it is forming. Oh, look, it's forming the blooms. Let me take it close. Oh, look at the little blooms are forming. The cauliflower blooms are forming. I love that look. I think that's really cool. And uh, so I think that is a grand success. I had a lot of fun doing that. Thank you for letting me know about that. And I think that I think you may have sent a video demonstrating it or linked to somebody's video demonstrating it. And I, I, I don't know if I watched it or not, but this was my version of your um, idea. So thank you for that. And um, let us take a look at the next one. So yeah, yeah. I mean, can you see those cauliflowers? Oh, that's so cool. With all those pretty colors in there. That's just really pretty. Okay, so we'll put you over here and let you dry. That would be neat for the inside cover of a... Okay, now I don't know what's going to happen here. Now these, I baked them all together. Yeah. And at first I didn't think they were going to come apart, but they, they, they did come apart. Look, at I, this is exactly how I took them out. And there, there's... These melted better. I may have had more water here. Maybe that... Oh, here's some little bumpies. It kind of feels like that braille paper I have. Oh, it does. Oh, these are rolling off. You know what? This paper's not totally dry in the center. I think that's why it's rolling off so easily. So I could tell you that if you get it to the almost dry point, these little non-pareils roll off very easily. 
and you can put them into the center and then take your little collection to the garbage pail and shake your paper and be done with them. How about that? There you go. I know, right? Okay, close up. Close up. Mm-hmm. Very pretty, huh? Okay, so now let's also want to try the water spritzer technique, little, little droplets, see if it works here. Okay, I don't know if it's going to work. We'll just try. I don't know what I'm doing. Just look at it in a second. Okay, I put some drops down. We'll just give that a second to do whatever it's going to do. Okay, now here, another dampy kind of one. I thought they were bone dry when I pulled them out, but you know, just can't wait for things to be done. You know, I'm, I'm that one who, you know, cooks the souffle and I, I don't cook a souffle, but I'd be the one peeking in the oven all the time and my souffle would be flat as a pancake. Does anybody make souffles anymore? It's like a 60s or 70s thing. I think I see those when I look at the old ephemera, the recipe cooking ephemera, you know, from that time period. They're like, a souffle, a baked Alaskan souffle. And I'm like, you know, don't slam the doors, whatever you do, because your souffle will flop. Um... I've never been to anybody's house where they, oh, we're having souffle tonight. Have you? Like uh, souffles on the menu. Oh, look, it's a souffle special they're having over at the diner. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I don't know what happened to the great souffle of the world. Maybe just too many doors were closed. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's it. Have you souffléed? Let me know. What kind of souffle? I have to know what kind did you make and did it flop or did it, uh, did you make it to the table? And did you ever make it again? There's the real question. Did you ever make it again? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm emptying that one out. Okay, so the pages are not sticking together. I guess if you get them apart, whoops, just tore that one. Um, if you get them apart before they're super bone dry, because I think that will make the sugar stick, uh, cause the papers to stick together. So I think that one came out pretty nice. Look at that. It's like an explosion of color. Still a little few more to massage off there, but I'll get those off later. And here's the yellows. Yellows were not big with, maybe they just had a lower color content or something. Let me back you up a little bit. Um, maybe not as much food color on them. I don't know. I haven't played with food color that much, so um, I don't know. But let's, I'm kind of curious to see what happens with, the, oh, I think the purples are next. That should be interesting. Yes, see what those little purples did. They're kind of cute, those purples. I like those. I do, I like those. Yep. Oop. All right. Here we go. Oh, they're pretty, aren't they? Yeah, they, these are the purples. Yep. Yeah, I can see you and I can feel you, you little purples. All come to the center. Um, it's kind of like working with embossing powder. You know how um, you have to, it's kind of like one of those deals where you know it's going to be messy, but you're just going in for the sheer fun of it because the results can really be cool. Oh, pink on this side. So, and a lot of the pinkies stuck to that side. So let me get those. There we go. Oh, there's sorts of these guys all over the place. Come here. They definitely come off easier than that one single baked sheet baked to bone dry. That was, that was harder to get off, but these are coming right off. Yeah. Oh, I think that's really cool. Okay. Quick flashback on where I put the water here. I'm getting a nice bloom here where there's intense color, like where the green is. Not showing that very well. Pam, settle down. Okay. But then where it's kind of not so much color, it doesn't really have much to cauliflower with. So just something to think about, you know, when you're, if you want to cauliflower, uh, because this one cauliflowered amazingly you can see it's picking up the purples and the blues and that kind of stuff I don't know did we have blue probably not making that up as I go <laughs> I am not an expert on this in any way shape or form so if you you know I'll bet if you look in your cupboards deep back in you know the, what you do you know the pseudo baking section where you have all that stuff you thought you had to have yeah like the last time you had a kids party or you made some cakes or cookies or christmas cookies this is like the christmas cookie supply stash and this stuff you never throw away because it never goes bad it's like twinkies yeah it's just eternally um there and uh so you've got this stuff and you probably don't even have to buy it but you too can have beautiful papers like this so look at that i'm gonna have to go back and look at what she sent me exactly because um it would probably be a good idea to read the manual pam before you do the video. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, backing up here. All right. So if you're feeling very non-Pirelli today, 
uh, this could be your ticket. You might have these supplies at home. See, you never know what a craft supply is. You just never know. And it could be anything. It could be something that you already have in your home. So there you go, folks. All fun to be told. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, so there is a part one and part two, and I'll put links to both below. Um, I do have some ephemera collections or fundals available. I just completed some again last night, so I popped them in my shop. If you're interested, please feel free to check those out. And um, what else? Um, you know, I'll, um, welcome to everybody who's new and thank you so much everybody for watching my videos and hanging out and, um, you know, sharing all your thoughts and ideas and loves about paper and paper crafting and stuff like that. All my links are down below. Um, Amazon shop, Etsy shop, um, what other shop? Um, I do podcasts on Tuesdays and Thursdays. My videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time. And, um, you can find me on Instagram. Pinterest, Etsy, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And we have I have a Facebook group. Come on over. Come on over and check that out. It's a lot of fun. Really nice people doing really cool things with um, ideas launched from these videos. We do weekly and monthly challenges. You're welcome to just hang out and take a peek um, and just get ideas. I mean, it's, it's really a nice, fun, a very supportive, nurturing place. So I hope you come on over and, um, and check it out. And uh, so there you go. Make sure when you sign up, you answer all the questions and agree to, I know the rules, da, da, da. Facebook, always, we always do rules on Facebook, sorry. But um, that way we can keep everybody focused and on track and uh, get you to creating as fast as we can. So there you go, everybody. Sunny, do you have anything to say? I might. I can't believe she's, she pulled me up on her desk. I'm on the desk right now. Hello, Sunny, you wanna say hi? No? I'm asleep. Are you sure you're asleep? Yes, I'm absolutely sure I'm asleep. I'm going to close my eyes now to prove I'm asleep. Okay, you're asleep. <laughs> I did take him to the park today, so he might be a little extra, <laughs> a little extra tired. But he is actually uh, on the desk with me right at the moment. <laughs> but I better put him back down because I don't want him to fall. Okay, everybody, take care. You guys have an awesome day. Happy crafting and, you know, create with reckless abandon. Take care. Bye -bye. Oh, look who's awake. Hi, everybody. All right, bye.